And first up, we're gonna join up with a group of visitors from Columbia. Not Columbia, Mississippi, but Columbia, South America, as they take their artistic talent to Clarksdale. I'm Eric Stone. I'm a writer and photographer. I first went to Bogota, Colombia to escape Christmas with relatives in the U.S. and was taken by the massive amount and variety of street art in the city. Uh, it was fantastic. Everything from enormous multi-story buildings covered with beautiful murals to very intriguing little things that were abstract and you weren't quite sure what they were but they caught your attention in ways. And also the interplay between the street art and the life of the city itself, the way the people interacted with it. Taxi drivers I met who would uh, find their way around the city geographically by knowing what was painted where and things like that. And also found some neighborhoods that had been very, very poor neighborhoods that began to clean up and people take more pride in the neighborhood because of the art that was appearing on the walls. And we started discussing whether or not something like that would fly in Clarksdale, or if it, the city could in some way be enhanced or benefit from some street art. We already have uh, tourists that come here for the blues, and what we're trying to do is add attractions to that, or sort of layer that, and give them something else to do. And for instance, these people, they're here now from Sweden, uh, hopefully they would take their time to walk, walk around uh, town. So this is uh, an example of a really good project that that's Clarksdale Revitalization has funded. And we got enough money to bring four of the artists from Bogota up to Clarksdale to paint walls and do a workshop with local kids in one of the after school programs. Uh, do a night of Latin dance music, a couple, the, one night each of the two weeks they'll be here, and hopefully work with local artists on the project and stimulate the arts in general in the area. I think it's cool, we like to do that because it's a way to get closer to the people and also the people get closer to this public space. I've been out here doing just the grunt work for these fabulous artists, you know, just doing whatever it is they need me to do. I wasn't gonna miss the opportunity to learn from people who are experts at this is what they do, this is what they've been practicing, and, and you know, it's what they do for a livelihood. Right now, we're trying to fix this small cracks in the wall, because we need, we want to get the, the, the better surface we can get. Then we're going to do the sketches, and after the sketches, we're going to start filling colors and then details. When I knew we were coming here, I started learning about the city and the blues culture. I like the music and Howlin' Wolf, the musician, so that's why I decided to make a Howlin' Wolf with a harmonica in his mouth. I always try to paint females because I want to empower them. I want to make the female a lot stronger because in Colombia, everyone thinks the men are better than women. I like to give them the power they deserve. Well, 
I was inspired in cartoons from the 30s and 40s and like retro cartoons. What I do most of the times is get to the place and like get the feeling of the people and I don't know, just to make it like more related. I got here and I started talking to people and like seeing like the music and the mood of the blues and there's like the cotton fields over there, uh, like the graves. I went out with Sam like in his bike to the cotton field. So went to the bars. I just got the feeling like this uh, small bars, just uh, like almost empty bars, but still blues going on. And all this uh, really special characters just playing the music. I think the way I like to paint is mostly like geometrical and abstract stuff. So because I'm a designer, so I try to do like try to do uh, uh, constructions and some creative images based on the geometric stuff. Each of us are pro our own style, but try to mix it a little bit. So basically, Era is doing like the lady with the cat. Jerson is doing the fly with playing the trumpet and I'm trying to do like the whole background so my geometrical art is gonna fit and work. it's gonna be like one complete work. Okay, so we're gonna have five more minutes so you can finish your drawing and then we're going to the wall, right? Well, what's going on here is our visiting Colombian artists working with the Grio and Meraki after school programs. All four of our artists have worked with a lot of children in Colombia in different parts of the country, and they all like working with kids. So uh, it was one of the first things they asked me about was would there be an opportunity or reason for them to do some kind of workshop with kids while they were here. And we thought, good idea, <laughs> set this one up. People of all walks of life, everybody, no matter who, no matter what, people that you wouldn't necessarily expect would appreciate street art have been just overwhelmingly supportive. And, and I just feel like that brings the community together. What people have always associated Clarksdale with is the blues. And I think that this will help introduce people out the art of Clarksdale and how there are so many creative people here that are using their art to make a difference here. Just to see the, the excitement and the, I guess, energy that's coming from the, the artists painting um, downtown is a, is a great thing to see. It's a really nice town. People are really nice. It's a really small and uh, quiet and peaceful town. And also the music, it's, it's, you can really live and feel the music here. It does so cool. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Till next time, I'll be seeing you on Mississippi Roads.